What I have to say may shock and astound you. In July, I went for a ride with YouTubers Brian and Travis. You can go visit their channels to see their side of the story, but I'm here to tell you what really happened. What are these two really like, and what are they hiding? Well, to be honest, they're really nice guys, and we had a lovely ride. We decided to meet up for a lap at Murphy Hanrahan Park. Howdy. After a little time on the prairie, the trail drops into the woods. This section of trail is labeled blue, or intermediate. There's some nice climbs and a fun little descent. Yeah. So nice riding trails up here on my own bike. Yeah? Yeah. So the rental? So the rental, yeah. Yeah, and actually the dropper. Yeah. I think that's key for the trails here. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I mean, that was a good choice. <laughs> oh! You need to quit riding with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's loose out. I mean, it's. Yeah. Even with all the rain, it's still like stuff's sandy. I rode Battle Creek the other day, and it's just like every corner is super loose. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> nice. Shall we? Yeah. This intersection marks the entrance to the Black Loop. This loop contains the bulk of the trail system. Keep in mind that for most trails in Minnesota, trail difficulty ratings are relative to the system in which the trail resides. So while this Black Trail may be marginally more difficult than the Blue Trail you rode in on, it may not be the advanced trail you'd picture just by looking in the trail map. Which doesn't mean it isn't lots of fun, it just means that it's really more of a blue trail. A light blue trail. Maybe a teal trail. There's, this is a there's a skinny feature up here that's pretty straightforward except for the start of it is real narrow and then it turns a little bit there you go Does anyone else remember when the skinny used to end in a teeter? It was a lot of fun. It's funny how many chain ring marks there are in the Nice. So a couple of little fun uh, jumps to flat right here. Yeah. 
So. It's a fun little option to air off the side of this bridge and catch the ditch transition. Travis went way deeper than I did. I thought for sure he was going to tag one of those little trees, but he missed him. I've never done this one. Really? Yeah. I think you could do it. Oh yeah. Just go up. Yep. Because it's just straight, you don't have to turn or anything, and you got lots of run out, so. Yeah. yeah. Damn, you came through that quick. a little technical offshoot of the main trail. Nothing huge, but there are some fun little features. <clears throat> it was right after this that my GoPro froze for a bit. But you aren't missing much other than Travis and I falling off a log a couple of times. Yeah, you just can't get, you can't get that rear to, to center enough. Uh, oh, oh nice. that would have Is Bird Loop actually open? Right. This section of trail is called the Bird Loop, and it's closed until late summer while the hooded warbler is nesting. Nice work. Since the bird loop doesn't get ridden as much, it has a different feeling than the rest of the trail system. It feels just a little less beaten up and a little more secluded. It always makes me happy when this section opens up and I'm able to ride it. Oh. back 
on the main trail. This may look familiar as this is the beginning and the end of the hard loop. There you go. Nice. This doesn't want to get in your way if you're coming uphill. And that's when my GoPro battery died. So if you want to see the rest of the intermediate loop and the prairie loop, you'll have to go check out Brian and Travis's channels. You should check out their channels anyway. Brian is prolific when it comes to posting about Minnesota trails. He's got a video from I think all of the Metro trails and beyond. Um, and Travis is a recent Minnesota transplant, so he's got some great uh, videos from Wyoming um, and he's producing a lot of uh, great Minnesota content as well. So go check out their channels.